so in the previous lecture we defined the thom class of a vector model and uh, in this lecture see some applications so let m be an oriented manifold of dimension m and let s be a compact oriented submanifold so by, when we say submanifold we will always mean that s contained in m has a subspace topology so s is of dimension m minus k then the point k do it of s is a class in h k m and it is the unique class eta s such that for all omega we have integral is equal to integral over s omega is equal to s so we want to write eta s as a certain thumb class so recall that the normal bundle of s in m is the co-kernel of the map ts to tm restricted to s s in order n s over m to 0 so easy check that n s over m is a vector bundle so we can find the vector bundle such that the above is a short exact sequence of vector bundles uh, we will use the following theorem without proof S contained in M, then there is a smooth map N S M whose image is 
So NS is a vector bundle over S. An open set T in M containing S the zero section maps onto S by the identity and NS to T is a diffeomorphism. So such a neighborhood T is called a tubular neighborhood of S in M. Since we are assuming that both S and M are oriented. It follows that determinant TS and determinant TM are trivial. So, since determinant Tm, so this Tm restricted to S, so it's a of a two determinant Ts tensor determinant N S O M. This implies N S O M is trivial. Thus, NSOM is an oriented vector bundle. So, moreover, give NSOM the orientation so that If T1 to Tk are coordinates in the fiber of NSOM and x1 to xn minus k are coordinates. on S and X1 through Xn are coordinates on M so maybe I should write Xm minus K and Xm then Dt1 which Dtk which dx1, which dx and m minus k is equal to dx1, which, which dxn. So this is the orientation on dm restricted to S. This is the orientation on Ts 
and we choose the orientation on n s over m choose this orientation so that we get an equality so that we get equality so by Thom's isomorphism we get a class phi in S O M H K compact vertical N S. So So we have pi lower star. Two. This is an isomorphism. It's star minus k s. And uh, we claim that the inverse of this isomorphism is given as this. This is a general fact for any vector bundle. Omega dot let's say tau. Which pi. So let's check that this is indeed the inverse. When we do pi lower star, pi upper star tau which phi. By the projection formula, we get this tau which pi lower star phi, but pi lower star phi is just a constant function one, so we get tau again. So this is indeed the inverse. So consider the following map. So we have h star s. We have this isomorphism. And then we have a map j lower star. This is going to h star plus k. M. So what does j lower star do? So we have our manifold, and there is my submanifold S and my tubular neighborhood. Is something like this. So we have a form which is vertically supported, compact vertically supported, which means that its support lies here. So we just extend it by zero outside uh, the tubular neighborhood. So let me just write this in place. Get a closed form j lower star phi on m uh, so our claim is that 
जीरो स्टार फाइव एस ओ एम इज इक्वल टू इट आस प्रूफ दिस इट सफाइसेस टू शो दैट फॉर ऑल मेगा इन हियर वी हैव इंटीग्रल मेगा रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू एस एस इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल ऑफ एम मेगा वेच जीरो स्टार पाई ऑफ so let t denote the neighborhood of s which is the image j of n s o m then support of phi is contained inside t So, let S sub zero denote the zero section. Here we have J is J of T, which is contained inside M as an open subset. If Omega is any class in H star in S O M. Then, since in S O M deformation retracts, onto the zero section. Get that omega is equal to pi upper star s naught upper star omega plus d tau. So. Uh, Now let omega be any compactly supported K form on the manifold M, and consider the integral omega which J zero star phi. So this. Since everything is supported inside T, this is equal to integral of T, J to the star of phi. And using the diffeomorphism J, this is equal to n s over m J plus star omega by J phi. Now we use what we just saw. So this is equal to integral n s over m by J plus star is not a plus star. J plus star omega by J phi plus integral n s over m d tau by J phi. So uh, since S is compact and phi. Is compact vertically supported. Uh, this implies that tau wedge phi, all the forms
mentioned here. So I'll just start with five, uh, all these forms. So what I want to say is that alpha wedge phi has complex support. for any alpha in uh, so use by from NSOM to S is an open map and compactness of S to show this. So in particular, these integrals make sense, and uh, since by Stokes theorem, uh, integral in S over M T of tau H phi is equal to zero but this this in this is equal to integral n so m d tau h phi so therefore we get that d m is equal to d H phi, but now we use the earlier proposition using the projection formula. This is equal to integral over s. S not upper star g upper star omega, but this is exactly equal to integral over s omega restricted to s. That's because uh, the zero section, so s is s zero. And S over and this G. This composite is identity onto S. So this shows the same place eta S equal to J over star phi. So let us now see an interesting application. compact oriented sub manifolds we say that s1 and s2 meet transversely
if for all x in S1 intersection S2, we have dx S1 plus dx S2. These are two subspaces of the tangent space of x. When we add them, we get all. They span the all of dxm. In this case, We have two short exact sequences. Of vector bundles. On S1 intersection S2, let's call this S. So let us introduce some notations. Some notations. To describe these two short exact sequences at I1, well, it's S to S1, I2 is from S to S2. J1 is from S1 to M, J2 is from S2 to M, and N S over M is, as we mentioned above, the normal bundle of S in M. Similarly, we have N SI in M and S in SI. So uh, we have the short exact sequence TS one. J1 upper star Tm to n s1 to n 0. So pulling this back, to s we get the following diagram. So we have zero T S J one compose I one upper star T M to zero. So uh, this gives a map. Similarly, we get a map. N S O M to I two per star. Is to go. Uh, using the fact that S1 and S2, using the assumption we transversely, we can easily check. that the map
Nie zjednaj sam owca. So, one immediately releases. This to a question. Related to DX. M DXS one DXS two DXS where X belongs to S uh, and then it is easily checked. So this is left as an exercise. So since all S1, S2, M are oriented, Gave an oriented vector bundle structure to n s one m and n s two m. Use this and the isomorphism. determinant in S over M okay so let me just write the inside give an oriented vector bundle structure in other words choose an open set You contain an S over which and are all trivial. So, uh, recall dimension of M is M dimension of S1 is M minus M1 dimension of S2 is M minus M2 uh, by transversality dimension of S is M minus M1 plus M2 choose sections Alpha one, alpha m one, such that alpha one which alpha m one is the orientation. On I one upper star n s one o m. Similarly. Choose beta one up to 
beta m2 then give n s o m the orientation alpha 1 which alpha m1 which beta 1 which beta m2 finally give the tangent bundle ts the orientation so that orientation on n s over m which orientation on ts is equal to orientation on tm restricted to s so this implies we have given an orientation to s in particular S is oriented. So consider the maps. N S I over N. There is a bundle over S I. There is an inclusion. Tubular neighbor J I tilde. We already saw that the point creative of SI is equal to GI tilde lower star of phi and SI over n. And this is in H M I. So we want to prove proposition eta s eta s1 which eta s2 so uh, let's prove this Let omega be in be a compactly supported form of the correct degree and consider integral over m omega of h g1 tilde lower star of phi n s1 m which j2 tilde lower star of phi n s2 over uh, this is equal to integral over s2 omega restricted to s2 which j1 tilde lower star phi of n s1 over m restricted to s2 this is because uh, we have just use the defining property of the point creative of s2 uh, let us try to understand J1 tilde lower star phi S1 over M 
restricted to S2. We have a diagram S S2 M J2 J1 tilde S1 And here we have F. So the triangles don't necessarily commute. So let's analyze, let's explain some of the things about this map. So that N S over S2 is isomorphic to N S1 over M restricted to S uh, follows from the following diagram of exact sequences of short exact sequences. S2 and N S1 over M S have the same rank. And the diagonal arrow in so let's look at DS1 S DM S and here we have the co-kernel N S S2 over M distributed to S. So this diagonal arrow is surjective because of transversality. Uh, so from this, it follows that this natural map above this S is an isomorphism so the map F is a tubular so F is we are choosing a tubular neighborhood of S in S2. However, the triangle <clears throat> is J1 tilde compose I S2. J2 F does not commute. So this F is the tubular neighborhood of S and S2. So it's a map from N S over S2 to S2. And this triangle does not commute. Need not commit. So let's make the following observation. If E to Y 
is a vector quantity. Then, since E deformation retracts, onto the zero section S not Y it follows that a map G from E to X is going to be equivalent to G compose is not composed by thus if G1 and G2 are two maps from E to X such that they agree on the zero section then they are homotopic uh, the maps J1 tilde compose I and J2 compose F agree on zero section. Uh, in fact, both are identity on S. So, we need to choose F and J1 tilde in a way such that J1 tilde and S, S1 over M intersected S2 is contained inside F of N S over S2. So let's, let me try to explain what this means. So let's make a small picture okay so suppose my this is my s1 this is my s2 so this s intersection s1 intersection s2 so So this is a tubular neighborhood around S inside S2. So this is F and S over S2. And uh, here we should take a tubular neighborhood small enough So that the intersection of this tubular neighborhood with so this is J 
1 tilde of n s1 over m. So we need that this intersection with h2 should be contained inside the tubular neighborhood of s inside s2. Uh, So this is clearly doable. This is clearly doable since S1 and since S1 is compact. But we won't prove this rigorously. Uh, well, this is left to reader. To the reader. So let's assume this. So let S in S. be a point so we have a diagram the spine was s is heading inside n s over s2 is a sum of it to n s1 over m straight to s Here we have the tubular neighborhood of S inside S2. This is J2 is M. This map is J1 delta compose I. So since J1 tilde compose I and J2 compose F are homotopic. Their restriction to pi inverse s are homotopic. Since we chose the tubular neighborhoods. in such a way that j1 tilde m f m it follows that f upper star j1 tilde lower star phi n s1 m restricted to s2 has compact vertical support Uh, thus, when we restrict J1 tilde lower star phi m, uh, along either map so either we can restrict it along j1 tilde compose i uh, compose the inclusion so let's call this inclusion um, let's call this inclusion 
g or j2 compose f compose g uh, we get a form on pi inverse s which is compactly supported and therefore the integral is going to be the same using integral is going to be we get forms not a form we get compactly supported forms on pi inverse s whose integral is going to be the same uh, but but by definition of phi n s1 over m it's integral on the fiber pi inverse s is 1 thus the integral of f upper star j1 tilde lower star phi S2 on pi inverse S is also 1. Thus, by the criterion proved for the Thom class, this implies that f of a star is equal to phi s2 over s sorry s over s2 thus f lower star phi n s over s2 is equal to j1 delta lower star phi so now we can continue with our computation So we have integral over m, omega of h, j1 tilde all over star, phi, this is equal to integral over s2. to f lower star phi n s2 over m and this is equal to integral over s omega s because this is the point k dual of s in
S2. So this implies eta S is equal to eta S1, which eta S2. So we will stop here.